it's a very good thing malnutrition is a big problem in the world and in india and i will do my best ee bhoomil 15 kodi nadhiyam kuttigal nyuna poshanam brain development illade sharirathinte growth illade munnotu pogumbol avare sahayikkan vendi spirulina ennu parayna food supplement koduthukonde imsamum dxnum munnotu varumbol dubai vartha mr sanjay dattine swagatham cheyidukonde chila karyangal chodikkiyana what do you feel that what do you feel about this imsam projects at this moment it's a very very good project and i've been involved with uh, mr maradona from the very beginning from the very beginning and uh, it's a very good thing malnutrition is a big problem in the world and in india and i will do my best as to educate the people uh, how uh, uh, spirulina can help them and i know it can help them Great. I don't say you can. Very glad to have this opportunity to be discussing this with you sir. So could you please uh, let us know a little about your journey in landing this auspicious position of uh, being the uh, goodwill ambassador for Insam? I have been a uh, goodwill ambassador for Insam since 2009 sir. Yes. My first goodwill ambassador. Yes. <laughs> But I had my own problems so I mean and uh, thanks to Moyet. Yes. You know he's Mr. Moyet please join. Mr. Moyet. he connected us again, again and yes. i was very very happy to be uh with mr maradona and again i was the happiest man in the world when moya called me he said i have your boy <laughs> 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 i ran to his office <laughs> So that's amazing sir so you have been involved in a lot of social causes like for the patients of cancer yeah. aids patient and er- eradicating drugs from the society so and especially your beloved wife miss uh, mrs manya da she has been involved in a lot of social works along with mr sanjay dat she has been a part of imsam as well so what drives you and your family to be a part of such an organization to work for such significant causes it just help i think people need help and in any way in my small capacity if i can help people in need whether it's cancer malnutrition education or anything you know women empowerment or any cause uh, my me and my family always there absolutely sir thank you so much for that also in 2009 you attended a gathering for the goodwill ambassadors which happened in usa with the then us president barack obama and his family i'm sure the experience is very enriching for you and it's definitely a rare opportunity like a blessing that you get to work for such a significant cause on a pan global level so how do you think you've been successful in uh, securing uh, the millennium development goal for the un well it's a it's a great cause and i'm very honored to be a part of that and uh you know i mean in whichever capacity i mean i i have my duties to perform and i will perform thank you so much sir okay. also to uh, the respected uh, his excellency uh, mr maradona very glad to be meeting you sir we have watched a lot of uh, content that you've put across in the uh, internet for us to it's, learn about it's a great pleasure being interviewed by such beautiful woman <laughs> <laughs> thank you most beautiful eyes i've ever seen <laughs> thank you so much sir. thank you thank you i'm i'm here i'm honored to have sanya with me again thank god uh we got back together thanks to the deputy secretary general moyet yeah uh, mr moyet has been a a great help to in some since he came aboard he is a palestinian with a heart and um as as i've always been in the palestinian uh uh area in uh, uh it was a palestinian man who helped in some to become a podent Mr Salim Said Sure sir but just something important that i have to ask you is that uh, it's definitely not easy to obtain the position of an observer status uh, at the UN right i'm sure you've gone through a lot of hard work and yes. sacrifices yes. and i i think you've been part of imsam for the last 16 good years yes. and now you have um, you know planning uh, pacts like this yes. dx and imsam association so what do you anticipate to be the you know impacts of this association the road to to imsam it was never easy it took five and a half or six years just to get the observer people think that you can create an igo overnight It took five years to get the observer status at the UN, and also I, I learned to smoke cigars because the, uh, that allowed me to sit with all the ambassadors. Most of them smoke cigars, <laughs> so we could spend two hours talking, and uh, you know I, w- I, w- I would become friends with them, and they would give me the vote in the in the ECOSAC, the Economic and Social Council. <laughs> so it's not an easy thing, you know, it's not a healthy thing, but 
but it's the only option I had when you have limited resources and so forth. But I am proud of uh, INSAM. I've given two decades of my life, uh, and, I st and I started it because uh, I needed something to do in my life, something significant to, so when I go from this world, I would leave something behind for others to follow through. Absolutely, you know, sir. And being a disabled person, it was not easy also. Yes. At that time, we didn't have the conventional uh, handicap rights or persons of determination, as it is called here in the UAE. You know, so it's, it wasn't easy. It's not easy to get a job when you're a disabled person. You know, so everything was very, very hard, but that's how we learn in life. You know, nothing comes easy. Yes, I am, it is indeed possible, and we have to work together towards it. We've been hearing Mr. Moayed's name a lot in this meeting. So we know that he is a, a very good entrepreneur uh, from Palestine. So what do you think is the significance of having spirulina reach to countries like Palestine, Syria, uh, or India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and so on? First of all, I believe uh, spirulina is a very, very good uh, supplement to kids to take them uh, uh, from malnutrition to normal kids and healthy kids. I believe in not only in the course of 90 days, I believe in the awareness, uh, public awareness to all these countries, teaching them how to grow spirulina and uh, in the two forms, in powder and in tablets. Mm -hmm. uh, my aim is uh, to educate people and do public awareness around the world, uh, especially in Africa, to grow their own uh, microalgae and uh, treat kids and uh, sustain the kids afterward. Amazing, sir. We really hope this association between DXN and IMSAM becomes fruitful in reaching the word out there. So thank you so much for giving you. your opinions and all thank the information you. that is vital for people to know. Thank you thank so much you. again. Thank you.